Greetings and salutations, you guys, it's Hayden here. Welcome to a new video. How's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. It is a super bright, sunshiny day today. Uh, it is, ow, ooh, whoa, oops, 89 degrees at the moment. And it's only gonna get warmer. I believe it's gonna be in the mid to low 90s today. And then tomorrow, I think it's almost gonna be like in the triple digits. It might even hit it at one point. So um, it's it's warm, it's crazy. And then like it's supposed to drop down to the 70s again, like next week, which is like, I don't understand the crazy um, weather right now. I feel like this is the craziest the weather has ever really been like this, um, but I don't know, 2021 for you, I guess. But right now, um, we're gonna go over to just the Veterans Thrift really quick. I just have to go over um, since I'm heading out. And I also need to go to Lowe's to buy some packaging paper to package out um, some orders. And also, thank you guys so much for um, those of you who joined. We uh, did a live sale last night and it was so late. I think I started at 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and there were over 100 of you guys in the room. So I appreciate you guys so much. It was so much fun. I love chatting with you guys on there and it was a blast. So thank you for that. Um, so if you guys haven't like joined one of the lives, please consider doing so. It's a ton of fun. Uh, just make sure to hit that post notification bell so then you'll know when the lives happen and they happen kind of sporadically, especially during the week. But I usually do them Friday, Saturday, Sundays and they start between 9 and 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, but yeah, oh, but first of all, if you guys love thrifting, thrift hauls, vlogs, and all that fun stuff, like don't forget to subscribe, hit the little bell button for notifications. I do post videos every single day. Add me on Instagram, it's Hadrian, and just like it's spelled here, and check out the shop, it's Hadrian.com to see whatever for sale from my thrifting adventures. And if you guys are watching this on or before Mother's Day of 2020, is it 2021? Yeah, 2021. I think you've seen 2020. I forget what year we're in. Um, Lee, uh, you can see all the rules and regulations down below in the description box, but we're having a Mother's Day sale, and you, there's a ton of really great stuff over there, so go check it out. Anyway, I'll see you guys in a second. Here we go, let's go inside. This is a cute Ferragamo tie, guys, that's like stained right there. But the print is really fun. I have this Fendi crop hoodie, which I don't think is authentic. And then they also have this guest, or guest, um, each one. Also, don't think it's authentic, but it's pretty cute. Let's see if we can find anything cool in the wallet section. A money thing. So expensive, 20 bucks. Oh no, this clutch is 20 bucks. <laughs> this clutch is 99 cents. Oh, this is fun and festive. Alright, so going through the bags, there's nothing really too exciting. Or new, they still have this toy birch, but it's like damaged and 30 bucks. They still have this Michael Kors along with the other one, like some ten. Okay, let me show you guys what I found so far. So this J. Crew bag is pretty cute, but it's pretty expensive, so I'm not even gonna get it. Then I found this Rebecca Minkoff bag, and I don't know, the color is like weird on it. Like, the leather is super soft. It needs like a repaint for sure. The interior looks like this, is like gold. I've never seen Rebecca do an interior like this, which is pretty interesting. Um, it's also missing the strap, so. I am, I don't know, I don't know what I'm going to do with this one. Then I also found these really expensive shirts that I wanted to look up. Um, they're all just like vintage shirts. So there's this, um, the Beach Music Festival one right there. And then 
all the shirts are falling off. Here's the next one, is this Primo Hawaii shirt. Right there, this was a hundred. And then this other Hawaii shirt right here, and this one is $60. So they're really pricey, but I wanted to show you guys. Probably just gonna put those back for sure. Then I have this Kate Spade backpack. I don't know what this stuff, I think someone drew on it with like a crayon or something. I honestly don't know what that is, but um, this one's $35. Then we have this Kate Spade, which is pretty worse for wear, $35 also. Don't know if I'm going to get it either, this is a lot of, yeah. Maybe no, it's a little too expensive for the wear that's on it. Then I found this really cute Rebecca. I wanted to show you guys, but this one is another one that's kind of expensive, so I think I want to wait for it to go on sale. But this one is 60. Okay, so I just took a look at these Chanel shoes. They have those right there. And these Chanel Pharrell Adidas looking ones. Um, sent out photos to see if they're authentic or not. But the Pharrell ones are 800. And the other ones are 500, so they're pretty pricey. Alright you guys, upon further inspection, both shoes are fake. So when you guys see things like this, always make sure to do your homework. Um, even if you like, are waiting for them to get authenticated, just do your own research. And just by doing my own research, I found out that they're not real. The Chanel on the right, the colors are off, as well as the colors inside the interior stamping. The Pharrell shoes, the stitching is totally off on the writing on the shoe, as well as the inner tag is completely wrong. So, always make sure to do your homework, guys. Alright, that's it for now with these. Let's go take a look for the rest of the store. Alright, I don't know if you guys have ever seen this brand before, Orchi, or Orki, I don't know how to pronounce it, but these shoes are amazing. It's funny because they actually have the retail price on the side of the shoe. These retail for $995, they're here for $300, but they're currently 75% off. So, these only going to be like, I don't know, 50 bucks. Also, I'm at 75 bucks, not 50 bucks. My math skills are not here right now. But, look at how good condition they are, they're amazing. There's a little bit of wear right here from like, creasing, but I'm honestly not worried about it. The shoes are fantastic, and I really like them. Alright, I just got a couple goodies, but let's go home and I'll show you guys what I got. Alright, we're stopping by Lineage Trading really quick. I'm not going to bring you guys into the store with me, but I'll show you guys what I end up getting. Also, it's all right, you guys, this is what I got. I got um, these Tom Ford glasses. And they have like a super slight prescription. I think like only one of the lenses has like a slight prescription because I think the person that had these might have had like a slight astigmatism or something. But, um, so I have these Tom Ford glasses, which I'm super excited about. These were, I think they were 40 bucks. And then I got the Kate Spade bag right here. Um, I think this one was $20, so. I think I got a pretty good deal. Um, these look almost like the other Tom Ford glasses that I thrifted once upon a time to get my prescription put into them. Uh, but my prescription isn't really strong at all. I don't really need to wear them too often, only when, um, like usually at night when I'm driving or if I need to see um, like far. Like I can still read stuff far, but it's a little blurry. So it's just, they just prevent me from squinting. But pretty excited about these glasses. Um, they're super cute, and I'll show you guys how they look on me later on. But I actually just got also two Lowe's. We're gonna go inside, I need packaging paper. Let's go. Hey guys, so we are back in the house. I got a ton of stuff that I can't wait to share with you guys. Um, okay, so today we went to the Veterans Thrift, and then afterwards I went to a store called um, Lineage Trading. I didn't take you guys into the store with me because the store is like so small. I always feel like it's so weird to like film in there because uh, I'm usually like the only other person in there with like whoever is working so I always feel like it's like so awkward. So I don't film in there but um, I'll post up photos of the stuff um, that I saw while I was there while we're talking about what I found. But let's start off with what I got at Veterans Thrift. So first things first, uh, I got this Philip Lim dust bag. I always pick these up. 
Like, whenever I see, like, any sort of dust bag at, like, a good price, I usually always pick them up because bags that I thrift usually never come with dust bags. Almost, like, uh, probably, like, 99% of the time, no dust bags. So, um, this one was only 99 cents. I had to get it. So, I was very excited to have found a Philip Lim because I do have um, some Philip Lim bags. Um, then, up next, I got this really cool um, French Riviera, Riviera shirt. I think it's pronounced Nice, or is it Nice? I have no clue. Is it Nice or Nice? Let me know down below in the comments if you guys know. But I just got this shirt. I thought it was really cool, and I liked the design on it. So I got that for $2. Then I ended up picking up a leather bag strap. This one is in brown. I actually want to open it. It's a Cole Haan bag strap. And I love picking up bag straps because sometimes bags are missing straps when you throw them at the store. And so these are a nice um, way to like be able to add a new one to the, to the bag or whatever. Or if you ever want to just like switch up your bag straps, you can do that too. But this one just has the light gold hardware. It says Cole Haan on it. And then here's the strap. Really nice golden or brown. And it's adjustable, which is really nice as well. And I actually really like this color. So, got this for, how much was this? Um, $1.98. So, got that. Then I got this bag. Um, this is a Rebecca Minkoff. It was $7. And I think it's like a new buck or suede. I think it needs some sort of cleaning or a dyeing. Um, yeah, I don't know what type of leather. Like, it feels like a new buck. But it could also just be, I don't know, I think it actually is new book. But it has like some weird discoloration on it. I was thinking of just like dyeing it or painting something on it or something. But let me know what you guys think. The interior actually is in pretty good shape. It's just the exterior has some yellowing. Which actually does happen with like bags that are like this chalk white color. So I don't know what we're going to do with it, but we're going to figure something out for this bag. But again, it was only $7, so we can do some sort of fun project on it and see what happens with it. Uh, so those are what I got at the Veterans Thrift. Then we went to Lineage Trading. trading and uh, here's my receipt. So this um, first bag I got here was... What's this? Oh, uh, this is from Lowe's. Um, I got this Kate Spade beautiful bright pink, uh, like, drawstring bag. And it's really, really cute. I love the color. It's very vibrant and in pretty good condition. This one was only $20. The inside is in pretty good shape as well. So I was really excited to find this. There's some, um, I don't know if it's just like dirt or whatever on the bag. I don't even know if it's going to pop up on camera. But, um, I think it should be fairly easy to clean. But, yeah. Really excited about this $20 Rebecca Minkoff. I thought this was a really, or Rebecca, Kate Spade. And I thought it was really, really cute. So, have that. Then, um, I picked up these glasses. They are Tom Ford. They actually came with a case. And these were $40. And these are, um, actual glasses, like eyeglasses. And I got these because I, um, if when I go in for, like, my annual eye checkup or whatever, and, um... I can bring this to have the lenses replaced. Um, I think the person that had this had an astigmatism, like, in one eye. I feel like the, the left lens right here is actually, uh, like, it doesn't have a prescription, and then the right one has one. So, I feel like the person had astigmatism, but the glasses are really cute. I really like them. I think they're really fun. So... Really excited to have gotten these for $40. I think they're a deal. My other glasses that I actually have, like my, um, the glasses that I have now are actually Tom Ford as well. And I thrifted those from the Goodwill for like $4.99. So those were a good deal. The lenses, these lenses though are larger, which I really, really like. So I'm really excited about that. And I can't wait to, um, get the prescription changed on them, which I love thrifting like glasses like this. So that, um... You can do, like, fun stuff like that and change the prescription, which is actually pretty easy. So, um, $40 for that, and that actually is going to 
round out today's video. I hope you guys had fun checking out the store and what I got. If you guys did, please give the video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to stay high down below in the comments, especially if you guys are new to the channel. Welcome, so happy to have a you guys here. Welcome to the Thrift Squad. Uh, don't forget to check out tomorrow's new video, bright and early at 7 a.m. I'll see you guys all in the next one. All right, bye.